How are you? Salah Abdali again. In this lecture, we're gonna see the relationship of return on equity and company growth in addition to the effect of dividend payout ratio and retention rate on company growth. Okay. Actually, this lecture is just a continuation of our previous one related to DuPont analysis, which decomposed return on equity into multiple decompositions. But now we're going to see the relationship between all these ratios. So let's start. Here we go. As we know that assets equal liability plus equity and equity include paid capital and return earning let's suppose that this company paid capital amounted to thousand US dollar for sure company management gonna use amount of capital to finance its own assets and company assets gonna generate a revenue in order to reach net income some expenses gonna be paid let's suppose that the amount of net income here is 100 so the return on equity of this company equal net income 100 divided by equity 1000 which equal 10% amount of net income gonna go directly to equity and the return earning but investors need a return for their investment therefore a company management decided to pay a dividend amounted to 60 therefore dividend payout ratio equal 60 divided by net income which equal 60 percent therefore the remaining portion gonna go directly to return earning which equal 40 so retention rate the amount that gonna retain to the company equity equal 1 minus dividend payout ratio equal 1 minus 60 percent equal 40 percent therefore company growth gonna equal return on equity 10 percent multiply by retention rate 40 percent which equal 4 percent company management gonna use this 40 dollar to finance its growth to finance its assets okay let's wrap it up now we saw how those ratios are integrated good luck studying